Today's out we're here with I'm Third Movement. I wanted to bring a video to you guys. Today is the third uh, month of the year, the 17th day of that month in the year 2015. And we're going to be talking about news stories. Um, we're also going to get into the Word, um, the Word of God today. We're going to be breaking down Romans 1. I'm excited about that. I, be, I did... Um, I did some of Romans 1 on, a, on another video, but today you're going to see me unfold a whole uh, Romans 1 and try to get a really good understanding of what's going on in Romans. Um, do me a favor. Um, please go over to umthirdmovement.org and check us out. See what we got going on. Um, I think I was supposed to uh, update the site this week. I, I, I update the site this week, so uh, depending on when you go, you can go now. And you can see what's going on there. And then you come back later on this week and get an updated version of what's going on with us at um, Third Movement. Um, also, go um, make sure you go over to YouTube and subscribe to um, um, Third Movement channel so you can get all the new videos. I do videos all throughout the week. I've been doing like around four videos um, per week, but um, last week I did like seven. <laughs> Then you get the podcast. If you if you if you subscribe, you'll get the podcast when it comes out, um, and you get to get to see the podcast f um, fresh. Um, hopes, hopefully, pretty soon. I don't know. I'm so watery in my mouth. Hopefully, pretty soon we'll be able to go um, live, and you'll be able to be a part of the show. Um, I'm waiting for the audience to get just a little bit more. Um, well, to get an audience. <laughs> So if you if you see this video, please, 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 please pass it on, um, pass it to other people. Um, I'm not really that much known yet, and I think a lot of it is because I, I'm I'm not that good at advertising my videos. Um, I don't know. I, I, and when I first started, I, I I would advertise, and people start coming up to me on my Facebook and like, dude, you kind of like spamming us <laughs> with the videos. So I mean, like. I don't know, I'm trying to find a medium where it's enough where people can actually get it and not where people are just passing by like, I don't want to see that. It's the D again. <laughs> but, you know, um, all things are going to happen in its timing. I believe that this channel will grow when it's time for it to grow. When God is ready for me to be out there on a big level, it'll grow. If God is never ready for me to be out there on a big level, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this because, number one, I, I enjoy reading the news to you guys and talking about the news stories. Number two, I enjoy bringing the word of God. I enjoy um, putting out the this, this scriptures um, from, an actual Jesus, uh, from an actual Jesus point, which is saying that I read the word and I just give it to you how I read it. I don't add nothing to it. I just I may break it down. I may give you a story to make you understand it a little bit more. But more than anything, it's just what the Word of God says. I don't, I'm not going to tell you, oh, this is what I feel. I'm just going to try to break down the Word of God where you can understand it and enjoy it. Um, if you don't know, I've been um, on this channel almost three years now. Um, matter of fact, I'm coming up to 300 videos, which I'm very excited about. Um, and, I, and I'm not excited about the 300 videos from a standpoint of, there's been growth because I have I have this channel is crazy. I have some videos with no views, and I have one with like nine thousand, right? And then it's like in between. So I, I mean, the channel is growing. It, it, it's not growing as fast because I, I believe what the message that that I'm bringing. But the channel is growing. But the reason why I'm glad for three hundred videos is <laughs> I did three hundred videos. <laughs> <laughs> like that's a lot of video that's a lot of editing time that's a lot of research and that's a lot of study um believe it or not and i'm not trying to kill time right now I'm, I'm not, if you know when i do the podcast you know that this is where you get a lot of information you'll get um, my personal testimonies and stuff like that which i have a good one this week for you guys on a um, testimony tip but um I've never did 300 of anything. Uh, what I mean by that is consistent, like, like just kept at it, kept at it, kept at it. There was time in this process where I, I was like, Lord, is this what you want me to do? Like, like honestly, like, I, I seen this as, okay, 
Let's get the gospel out. Um, if you don't know, I'm trying to build a ministry online as well as offline. But there's steps you have to take. You just can't jump out there. You, there's steps you got to take. And the steps that I'm trying to take offline is different than what I could take online. Online, I can get on, I can get a channel and just start putting out content. Offline, I have to, you know, we, we have to get out into the community and, and build in the community because I don't want to get a building and say people come, right? Just like other churches, get a business and say people come. My idea of, of, of ministry in the community, to be honest with you, is I'm thinking about just saying, okay, let's get out of the park. Let's get people who love Jesus, who want to know more about Jesus. Let's get the Bible out and we just teach. All right, let's get the Bible out while we have barbecue on the grill and let's just go at it. Like, like my whole idea is to say, okay, let's do church in a different way. Um, and I'm going to do a video explaining that there's really, there's really no right way to do church, but the, there's requirements in what you're doing when you're doing church. Like many people think that you got to get a building and get people together and you got to sing songs. No, literally is when the saints come together, like-mindedness in agreement and, and, and opening the word and just getting into the word of God. That's church. Like when we look at the book of Acts, that's what church was. But we get caught up and 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 when when I ain't gonna get into that right now, but we get caught up in this 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 modern modern day age of church where you gotta have a building, where there has to be music and this and, and even doing it differently now they got like it's like a rock show, you know, and, and nothing wrong with that. However you receive Jesus, you receive Jesus. Like there's nothing wrong with however church is done over here if it's effective. Like if church is over here and people are getting saved by people coming to a building, then bless God, right? And if church is over there and it's like a rock show and people are getting saved, bless God. But if church is at the park and people are coming and get saved, bless God. There's no right way to do church. If people are going online and they're seeing your videos and getting saved, bless God. That's ministry. That's what it's all about. It's not about who's doing it right or who's doing it wrong. It's about, more importantly, that you're doing it for Jesus, right? So that's what church is. So when, when, when I look at this, this unthird movement thing, especially online, I say, okay, well, is people getting saved or is the idea for people to get saved? Then number two is the idea for people to, 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 to really get, you know, really get discipled. And I think... With the, with um third, what I hope, and I was going over it last night, um, the channel and everything, and, and what I hope is to 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 have where people can get saved, but then have a a place where people can get discipled. And if you're close by me, then you can get a you can build a personal relationship with me, and we can build a personal discipling where it's me, you, and God on on, on the discipleship that tip that's that's just growing into the word. So. For me to do 300 videos, <laughs> that, that that's gonna be a feat in itself. And now what I have to do is go on the channel, and I've been I've been slack on this. Um, but organize things a little bit better. Um, I, I see where I got some of the sermons organized or, or the teachings. I'm sorry, the teachings organized, and then I got um my blog video, which which I really enjoy doing because I think. The blog, I get to give nuggets, little, 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 little wisdom nuggets in the blog, and which I give them in when I'm teaching. But the teaching, I like to be like, I like to say what the word says. I don't want to add too much of me in it. But with the black blog, I can I can add me in it. <laughs> so I got to really go back and um try to organize it a, little, a lot bit. But yeah, I want to um give a testimony. Um, I tried to give it yesterday on on, on Facebook. Actually, I tried to give it yesterday on my personal Facebook, and um, I woke up yesterday yesterday morning on the wrong side of bed, like literally, well, not literally on the wrong side of bed, but what I mean is, is my emotions, like, I just didn't get enough sleep, or I got, I, I don't know what it was, but I woke up upset, and it was around, it was around like 4.40, and I'm usually up about 4 o'clock. 
on my days off because I work nights, but on my um, days off, I go to sleep really early so I can get up really early, try to get up with the sun. So I got up around like um, 4.40. I usually get up at 4 o'clock. And I was just like, actually, I'm lying. I was up even later. Matter of fact, I didn't get up until like, actually, I was up at 4.40, but I didn't get out of bed until um, like 6.20ish, whatever. So um, I got up um, um, that around that time, and 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 every, I had a problem with everything. I had a problem with even my sheets. I was like, sheets, why are you gray? <laughs> like, I had a problem with the carpet on my floor. Why, why are you there? <laughs> It was one it was one of those days where like on a serious tip I had no reason to be positive, right? I had no I had reasons, but I'm saying in, in my my thinking I was like, Ugh, I just just I just I just wanna be I just wanna be angry. Angry for no reason. And I got up and said just just said the spirit convict me and I just say, Lord forgive me, right? Cause I was angry for no reason. There was no reason for me to be angry. Um, my emotion. A lot of times we don't think that we are in control of our emotions, and we are. And a lot of times, if we don't check our emotions, our emotions can get out of hand, just like any other thing. And our emotions are our emotions are very important, especially when we're dealing with, especially being being someone who claims to be a, a, a man of God and who lives as a man of God. My emotions are very important. Um, for for example, if I'm driving and somebody cut me off and I go off on them, I shoot birds at them and everything like that. Then they go, they, they some weeks later go to my channel and find out, or, or the website or whatever, and find out I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching online Jesus. How would that make me look? Right? So on a bigger picture, that, 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 that's a fail. So on a lower level, when I'm dealing with everyday people, because ministry don't happen in a big way. Ministry happens all the time. So, if I don't check my emotions, how I treat people around me, the close people to me, my niece and nephew, how I treat them, how I treat my roommates, how I treat people around me, it is it, it, hugely important if I'm claiming Christ. So your emotions has to be checked. So I mean, I'm in a position where I just, I'm just angry and emotional for no reason. It may be because I didn't get enough sleep. Maybe because I, I, I have no idea. A thousand reasons, right? But the Holy Spirit said, get into the word of God. And I get into the word of God and it talks about overcome. I mean, it talks about the spirit of peace, right? It talks about what the Holy Spirit brings. See, having the spirit of peace, I have your emotions in control. Doesn't mean that you're not going to want to do things that's, that live in uncontrollable. Having your emotions in control is something that you have to practice. It's something that you have to work on, right? Having having control over your life in any area is something you have to have to have control of. I, I truly believe that if Christians, if we would walk more in an intentional way towards the things that that we 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 get, right? Say 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 for instance that you you're in porn. You, you, that's that's your weakness. You're fighting porn. Then the thing that should be is you should be casting down thoughts, uh, 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 thoughts and urges. You should be constantly ca casting these things down. So if you're a person with an anger problem with attitudes, you should be always casting those things that get you upset down. Now I'm not a person with attitudes or anger problems at this moment but there was a time where i did have attitudes and anger problems and it was it, it's been a a constant of, of of i rebuke that thought you know when i get mad oh, look at this person right here she cut me off it's i rebuke that thought i'm gonna love you in jesus name i rebuke that thought i love you right it, 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 it's the picture of wrestling it says work out your your salvation with fear. the word of god says work out your, your salvation with fear and trembling that means you're going to be working, right? What, and when, when it says fear of trembling, that means your salvation, how Jesus, how Jesus see you, how, how, how are you, 
let me, let me let me get my thoughts. This wasn't in the plan, but I just wanted to share this. Um, how when it says fear and trembling, work out your salvation. It's talking about the old you, the thing that you used to do, versus the word of God and what God says. Because when we come to Jesus and we follow Jesus, we give up all our stuff. We give up all that stuff that we used to be in. Everything that's against God, we give it up. That's what it means to work it out. You you got to get over this stuff. This stuff should be scary to you to be. I should be scared when it comes down to these these thoughts of porn, right? If, if that was one of my issues, I should be scared at four o'clock in the morning when I'm going online. Like I don't want to see nothing. I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to be in nothing, right? And that's what it means. Work out your salvation and, 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 and fear and trembling. And anger was one of my my issues. So it's a constant of me when even the littlest thing, I I I I, I hit my my toe on something, I, I just go to rebuking the anger that I'm gonna get. I, I rebuke you. You'll be all right. Just just rebuking the anger. It says by the renewing of your mind, right? We, we're looking at today, and I was looking in the news for news stories. And there were so many stories, but one jumped out to me about mental illness, um, the thing that the church can do to help with mental illness. And I firmly believe, and I'm going to do a teaching on this, but I firmly believe that mental illness comes because we come out of that world where we have so much stuff coming into us, where we have so many different things coming into it and working it, working on our mentals. When we come to Jesus, we think that everything is going to be automatically A-OK. -okay. You get saved and, 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 salva and salvation comes straight in. Yes, salvation does, but sanctification, it, it's a, it, it takes, it takes a, it's a working out. It's, it, it's, it's working out with fear and trembling. That, that sanctification process. And, and that takes, and we get, we get lazy. In the sanctification process, and, and then we just start justifying things in porn. We start justifying, getting lazy and justifying things. Well, I, I, I'm single. I'm, I'm celibate. I got. I'm a man. I got to do something. Or I'm a woman. I got to do something. I, I can't just let it build up. That that's a lie from the pit of hell. God said, "Be holy as I am holy, whether you married or not." What I'm trying to say is, if we get more intentional about fighting these things, working on our faith with fear and trembling, if we get more intentional about fighting things that come against us, we will see that we will overcome a lot more. There are things that that God, there are things that God just really, when you when you when you come to Jesus, when I came, when I, when I got saved. Right. Well, I got saved at twelve. I, I came up in the church. I got saved at twelve. I believed in. I believed on Jesus. I didn't know what it meant to live it, but I knew I loved Jesus. I knew He was real. But when I got when I got around nineteen, that's when I had my real okay. I'm gonna live this thing for Jesus. That's when I had this okay. All that foolishness, I'm leaving it alone. I'm finna. I'm finna really live this thing for Jesus. And I was I was I was not that big on drugs, but I did smoke weed every now and again. Oh Lord, I'm putting out my I'm putting out my past testimony time. <laughs> but I, I did smoke weed. I did smoke weed. Now it wasn't it wasn't an everyday thing, but you know, occasions with friends or whatever. And I remember, I remember I was already struggling with this thing with Jesus. I was already struggling with coming to Jesus. And I remember I would get high in and, and, and my, and my, and my mom's house. I was around 18, 17, 18. It was the summer after graduation, so I was 18. And I remember um, getting high. This is right before I would go to college and right after graduation. So it was that, that summer, that period over summer. I would get high, and she had this window in the back room where we were sitting in the sitting room. And the window was huge, and it was it was it was facing out to the backyard, and and and, and it was showing the trees and the sky. And I remember getting high, and just getting getting real high, and looking at the sky like, what if Jesus come right now, right? <laughs> what if Jesus come right now, and catch me like this? Now, when I came to Jesus, I gave up alcohol, drugs, 
all of that stuff. All of that that was simple. That was simple. But the things that I didn't that there, there were things that I couldn't that 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 that, that I did that wasn't simple. There were things that I my, my I, that was things that I had to give up out of my life that was a struggle. And pornography was one of those. That was one of those things where it was a, a, a wrestle. It was it was a me calling on the name of Jesus that time. It was it, it it's been me casting down thoughts. Even now, because I'm still I'm still I'm still I'm still I'm still a man and I'm not married yet. And even now, I have to be careful with everything that I do because my salvation is more important than than, than looking at some naked naked woman. My salvation is more important than some 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 night of sex with some any woman. Right, that 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 stuff right there is is not above my salvation. That that stuff right there is only gonna take away from me and my father's relationship. So it's something that I gotta cast down. My anger issues, it wasn't taken away. Like like I had no taste for weed, I had no taste for alcohol and nothing like that. That was cool. I, that was gone. But my anger issue, it was something that I had to I had to really really I struggled with. I, it was something that that like I said, now I, I even still I still even fight. If, if I'm in traffic and somebody cut me off, I have to jump on myself. I don't jump on them. I jump on me. Like like D, you gotta get you gotta get right because my salvation, your salvation should be more important than these things. And if you have mental illness, the the word of God says from the renewing of your mind through the word of God. So you should be eating on scriptures every day, especially those though that 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 pertain to to your issues. See, I was blessed, man. I, and, and 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 this is somebody else's testimony, you know, that they 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 didn't come off weed right when they get saved, right? They, it's been a. a a constant battle between weed and them. That's not my. That's not my testimony. But that's somebody else's testimony. And I'm telling you, the only way you're going to overcome that is not by your strength. It's going to be by the strength of God. It's going to be by strength of God through the Word that He left for us. So if you're struggling with whatever you're struggling with, pornography, um, weed, anger, um, hate, malice. Jealousy. Some people out there are struggling with jealousy. If you're struggling with these things, we have to go into the Word of God. We have to constantly be in the Word of God, searching for things in the areas that we struggle. We have to tell ourselves, man, it's been times where I tell myself I have an urge to click on a website, and I have to tell myself, God say, be holy as I am holy. And, and I literally have to get on the floor in my hands and knees and just start worshiping God and start casting out things, casting out these lustrous feelings. Because the, the word of God says that the, 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 your, your flesh is going to lust against your spirit and your spirit is going to war against your flesh. So it's going to be a pulling you one way. You're going to either go the way of lust or the way of the spirit. But if you keep into the word, if you keep into prayer, and I tell you, we, we, we on prayer hugely this year. And if you keep into the prayer, if you keep into the things of the spirit, you're going to find yourself being able to op to defeat that flesh. We, we love to blame the devil for things, right? And there are things maybe we can't blame the devil for. I mean, um, it, I remember it was a time... Um, a couple of years ago, a few years ago now, I I was I was struggling in, in, with with the pornography, and it was summertime. And if you don't know, I live in in, in, in sunny uh, Southwest Florida, <laughs> where there's beaches everywhere. And I remember going to a Kmart um, down here where I live at, and I remember every chick that I was seeing had booty shorts on, like to the like to the extreme, like they like like they might as well have been bathing suits. At least in my mind, that's how I <laughs> at least in my mind at the time that's how I looked, right? And you can say, well, was that the devil? Probably, probably. Or could have been that you I didn't have my lust in control. That was my flesh looking at these things. But I had to, to, to really, like Job said, I, I had to make a covenant with my eyes and not look on a woman with, with, with lust. So now when I'm out, in the, and, it, and it still happens, I live in sunny southwest Florida. 
Now when I'm out and I take the kids to the beach, now I don't look at these women in bathing suits and all that with with lust because you know what I I I don't gave I don't say I'm gonna make contract. So when I look at it, when a woman was about, I'm looking up here, her face, right? I, I look in somewhere else. I'm not trying to out looking like who, what what hot looking chicks at. When I when I go out in the in the public, when I go to stores, I may be I may can't go at in certain stores at twelve o'clock in the afternoon. It, it just it, it may not work for me, and that's something that you may have to say if you're struggling. I can't do these things at this time. Like it's not good for me to be on the, the internet late at night, and it's not because it's not because. I, I don't I, I have a, a miscued look at sex. It's because I want to honor God. It's not because I'm not human. It's because I'm human, but I'm focused more on the things of the spirit. So when I'm more focused on the things of the spirit, my flesh is not pulling at me. So when I, I be honest, it's times where I see women dressed and I'm like, Lord, just touch them. Just praying for them. Just just honestly praying for them that they 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 can understand what's going on. They can understand the battle. Because the person that that's in that booty shorts, or the person that's in the bathing suits, or the person that's in the something skimpy skimpy, they might not understand the battle that 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 that, 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 that spiritual. The Bible said the Bible the Bible said that this battle is not 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 carnal, but it's spiritual to pulling down the strongholds. I, I man, I went thirty minutes on that right there. I didn't even what a way to start the show. But that was a little bit of my testimony, you know. I, it, it was I had all this just just waking up. I had all this anger. Maybe I slept wrong, right? But I started went to the Word of God. I started listening to, to to what the Spirit had to say for me. I put myself in the way of the Spirit, and I started fighting the flesh, and the flesh became weakened, and I defeated the flesh. Some of you right now, this is a word. This is a word. Some of you right now, you wondering how to defeat your flesh. You're wondering how to overcome these things. You wonder how, how to overcome pornography. You're wondering how to overcome something as little as addiction to coffee. Something as huge as addic addiction to weed or addiction to some kind of drug or alcohol. It can be done. It can be done. It's not about it's not about suing your money. Like that's that's what that's what we say in church. Um, start giving. Start getting, no, 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 no. You need to start getting into the spirit of God. You need to start getting into the word of God. You need to start getting in prayer with God. You need to start getting in worship with God and get into the things of the spirit. Because the Bible says, let's go there. This is Galatians. I'm sorry. It's Galatians chapter 5. And uh, we're going to be at um, verse around 16. It says, This I say, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the lust of the flesh for the for the flesh lust is against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another. So they cannot do the things that ye would. We have to understand that we cannot walk in the both. Jesus said you can't serve two masters. You're gonna either love one and hate the other. So if you're trying to overcome any addiction, if you're trying to overcome anything, you gotta you gotta understand you gotta walk in the spirit. It's not walking in whether you pay your tithes or not. It's walking in the spirit. It's not walking in how much you give. It's walking in the spirit. It's not whether you walk in the church. It's walking in the spirit of God. You can over we can overcome these things. We can overcome these things, and, and if you really want to know how to overcome, take heed to the to, to the word of God. It says, "Walk in the Spirit." That's Galatians five. If you, if you wanna if you wanna check that out later, that's Galatians five. So that was a quick testimony, man, um, about you know the goodness of God and everything. And so we're gonna get into some news stories from um here on out. But I encourage you, man. Um, to, 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 to really understand that this is a spiritual battle, right? And your flesh is going to want something, but you got to be in the spirit. Because when you're in the spirit, it says the spirit know all things. The spirit is what I did. Jesus, the word of God said, I did not give you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. We got power in the Holy Spirit. 
We have love in the Holy Spirit, and we have peace, our sound mind. We have a mind that is sound. We don't have these thoughts. We don't have these things worn in our mind. Your mind, that's a word right there. If, if, you, if you got these things in your mind, the mental illness, then you really need to get into the spirit. <laughs> the word of God said he did not give us, this is this is Second Timothy uh, 1 and 7. He did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. That's what he promised us. Get into the word. Get the Holy Spirit. That's how you overcome these mental these mental illness that you have. I, I'm going to do a teaching on that. Um, I actually have been wanting to do a teaching on that for a long time. Just have have a lot going on. So I hope that story, um, I hope that 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 ministered to you. I hope that helped you. Um I want to take this time right now and get into some news. If you don't know how I work at um third, this is our third uh podcast, and we usually do uh three stories. Three to four stories depends on um the news. And the stories that we don't do, we do in the um video. A little a little five to ten minute video um throughout the week so you can get news stories on um third. I try to focus on stories that's not in the news, right? I, I try to focus on stories um, to give you a point of view from a Christian point of view that's not in the news. I like to say I try to give you something to pray for. <laughs> and this um, this is no laughing matter. This is one of the stories that you really, 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 really should lead you to a prayer closet and pray for these kids. Um the headline is, I wish I could have also died. Boko Haram hunts kids. So it's talking about now all the kids. There, there, there's a refugee, refugee camp full of kids who lost parents, who parents have been kidnapped by Boko Haram. That's probably never going to see their parents again. Now, this right here, they're talking to a nine-year-old boy. And the nine-year-old boy said, and I don't want to read the story. I read it once, and I'm really, it, it, it put me in a little depression mood. I encourage you guys to go and um, read it. I'm, I'm definitely going to leave a, um, leave the, what's the link in, in down below, because I really need you guys to go read the story. But I, more than anything, I need you guys to pray for the story. I originally, see, refugee are full of kids who lost parents, right? And the kids are saying, they don't want they don't want to live no more. Imagine that depression. Like imagine what's going on in their mind where they just don't want to live because you're losing everything. You already have Nigeria is not a place that's 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 America. Matter of fact, Nigeria it's it, I think I read um it has um three hundred um three hundred thousand people, three hundred thousand plus people. And they they live on about two dollars a day, I believe it was two to ten dollars a day. It's not much, and so they they already didn't have a lot. Now they lost their parents, and they had a refugee camp with other kids that lost their parents. Like imagine that mood. Like who's happy, right? How much joy is there? That's what these kids are facing. And if you really want something to pray for, this is it. Like this is this is that thing to pray for these kids of 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 war of these crusades that's done by Muslims. These are the people that that that, that really needs prayer. Reading a story like this, I, I I say, come Lord Jesus, right? Because this is crazy. This is crazy. But this is what we're dealing with, and, and I want to to take this time and pray for these kids and pray for what's going on over there in Africa. Father God, we thank you for being able to come to you. We thank you for having you. We thank you for, for, for you first loving us, because we can't love you until you love us. Father God, we pray right now, Father God, for these kids, Father God. We pray that you touch and put your hands on them, Father God. We pray that you lift people up, Father God, to go over there, Father God, to, to minister to these kids, Father God. We pray that you lift people up, Father God, to go over there and adopt these kids, Father God, to show them a godly love, Father God, because they, 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 they don't have that parent love no more, Father God. 
We pray, Father God, that you let people go up there intentionally to change lives, Father God, over there. Because the war has left a lot of pain and burdens amongst the little ones. Your word, Father God, shows us that you really love the kids, suffer them not to come to you. Your word says, Father God, we pray right now for him, Father God. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you touch him. You say you are you you are mother for the motherless, you are father for the fatherless, and God, these father, these kids are fatherless and motherless. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whoever look upon this story, Father God, whether it be now, while, while, while it be published, or, or in the future, Father God, I pray that you press on their heart, um, James chapter 1, where it says, true religion is to look after the widow and those who are fatherless and motherless, Father God. I pray that you press upon that unto their heart where they want to go, Father God, and really look after these people. I pray this right now in my name of Jesus. If you need something to pray for these kids, or that something to pray for? Man, I tell you, I, I ain't even read the story, and I feel the sober um, spirit. But I rebuke that spirit. I bleed the blood on these kids, that they be raised in the way of God, that they have a sound mind, that they find peace. Someone is going to step up. I pray that it's you. I pray that it's me. There's another story I didn't read. Um, I remember seeing it, but I believe it's the same one. Children rescued from Boko Haram are so traumatized that they can't remember their names. Imagine that. That's just a headline. I'm not even going to get into the story. I'm not even going to get into the story. Now, since we're talking about Boko Haram, I want to talk about this story right here. It came out last week. Um, another suspected Boko Haram terrorist, um, terrorist carry out a, a, a suicide bombing in Nigeria, Bernal State, on Tuesday. This was last week. Al Jahir said that the attack, which occurred near um, the Monday uh, market in state uh, capital, um, Majura, Maju, I can't say that word, resulted in at least 17 casualties, according to sources within the military and the city hospital. The, this latest um, suicide bomb in the court just three days after a, a string of attacks on Saturday that killed at least 54 people and wounded uh, when wounded um, um, more than 100 others. The Guardian report over the weekend that five um, bombs were detonated in four different locations in Medjur, in Medjur, in Medjur, in Medjur, Medjur, including, at, at, including the Bono Express bus station and the Monday market as well as a checkpoint manned by a civilian defense unit. No one has claimed responsibilities for these latest attacks, but the manner of execution is uh, consistent of the um, Boko, Haram, Boko Haram. Right? That, that, this is going on in Africa. While, and it should be publicized, what's going on with ISIS in Syria, but let's also talk about what's going on in Africa. I did I did um the video that was going on with Syria and uh, ISIS, excuse me. What's going on with Syria and ISIS is the same thing that's going on in Africa with um with Boko Haram. And to back that up I'm gonna read this story here. It says that ISIS leader pledged alliance with Boko from um, um, um pledged alliance from Boko Haram. Now, last week in a video, the story tell, let me just read the story. Muhammad al Ad Nanina, um, the spokesman of, uh, of ISIS, I, I, I'm mispronouncing his name and I don't care, has reportedly accepted Boko Haram pledge of alliance to um, allegiance 
to the terrorist group. According to BuzzFeed News, the, the, the Islamic Izzo, Izzo's leader released an audio recording on social media that uh, praised Boko Haram for their, de um, de um, de for their decree of loyalty. Our caliphate, God save him, has accepted the pledge of loyalty from our brothers Boko Haram. So we graduate, we congratulate Muslim and our jihad brothers in the West Africa. Our caliphate is resisting, is resisting, and is advancing in the um, right direction. We are, we are fighting the Crusades and the uh, and and the, the Shiites. And day by day, the Islamic State is becoming stronger. This was the this was in response to the message of Boko Haram leader, um, Shiku, sent ISIS, which said in English subtitle, "We announce our allegiance to the Caliphate of the Muslim, um, Al Baghdad, and we'll we'll hear and obey in time of in times of difficulty and prosperity, in hardship and in ease, and to endure." discrimination against and not to dispute about the um, rules which those are in power so we see now i said it before the story even came out before they even pledged alliance that it's the same thing that's going on they are trying to conquer the world to be muslim and they're going to do it any way in, in any way they can any way they can it was another story. I'm, I'm not trying to cut that story short. That 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 is very important. That's why I read it. Uh, what's going on there is very important. But it was another story. I should have had it ready. <laughs> But it was it was it, this story is out of England. A church in England is having Muslims come in and pray. You heard you heard me correctly. They're having a, a, a call to prayer for Muslims in in, in, in here in, in a church in England. And I'm trying to find the story as we speak because we can see that this is evil, man. This is evil. Give me a second. Let me find this story. God, 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 I tell you, man, we need we need our father to man, we, we, we need we need we need people to step up and say, you know what? Let's expose this. Let's expose what's going on and telling people to start praying. We gotta start praying for these people. We got to start praying for what's going on. That's a story I wanted to read too. It says San Francisco largest evangelical um, mega church to allow non celibate homosexuals to be members. And not members as in like come on in you can be into no they can be actually they can be musicians, they can be a part of the church. Huge huge but um i'm probably gonna do that story next week or either do that story at a later date this week at, at a separate video um i really want to get into the word of god and this video is already going kind of long but i'm trying to find this one story of over in england there it is right here all right it says um church of england pastors pastor so give me a second Church of England pastor welcome Muslim prayer service. In the church, Muslim prayer service. Like, they, 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 if you don't see a conspiracy where the Muslims are trying to take over, I'm going to read a little bit. It says the Church of England um, vicar has come under fire for allowing a Muslim prayer service to be held in his church. Reverend Kenan Giles um, God Goddard joined in the uh, inclusive uh, mosque, mosque event at St. John's Church 
Waterloo by reading a part of Psalms 139 and gave thanks to the God that we love, Allah. <laughs> like, let me finish the reading story. The service included a traditional Islamic call to prayer and was attended by dozens of Muslims. The pastor saying, uh, the pastor Godard defending the move saying, we are off, uh, offering a place for people to pray so it made absolutely perfect sense. So, Strange Fire. Remember we, go check out the, the first podcast we did and we talked about Strange, strange Fire. Like offering up to God things that, that, that is not of God. This is a perfect example. In the church, in the church of God, we have in Muslim pray to their God, Allah, which is not the same God. I don't even want to get into that right here. I'll do a video. But it's not the same God. They don't even have the same characteristics. Like, go look, go read the Bible, which you should be reading if you're a Christian. Then go read the Muslim. Quran, the attributes of God is totally different. And then they see Jesus as a prophet. They don't see Jesus as the third, or, or as a part of the Godhead. We're talking about two different gods. We're talking about two different beliefs. And and, 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 and there's people out there, I, this pastor, he's a wolf and sheep clothing. We know that. But there's people out there that accept this. We are, how, why, why wouldn't people walk out of church? If, I see, if I'm in a church and the pastor start doing a Muslim prayer, it's time to bounce. Hey, get your stuff, yo. We, we got to go. And, and we're not coming back. <laughs> That's where we're living in. If, if, if this the same God, then how could we justify the what's going on with, 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 with Israel? What's going on with Boko Haram? These are not characteristic. What they're doing is not characteristic of, of our God. And then you say, what about the Crusades? Go study the Crusades. Go study the Crusades and see who allowed them to go. The Pope. Which is not at all of Christian. The Word of God say, have no father. Have Call no man father. There's no one in between us. The intercede for our prayers, but Christ Jesus, the Pope is claimed to be intercession. The 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 the, the, the Pope claims to be the Holy Father. It's only one Holy Father I, I know, and that's the Father God. That's the Most High. That's the Creator. This is not the same God, but we see in that mix of things that are strange. Things, I ain't even gonna say strange no more. Let's, let's cut out strange. Unholy fire, fire. We see unholy things coming up in the church. And you may say, well, you know what, man? Um, do you tripping, man? Um, it's the same God. Show me how. Let's, let's look at the characteristics. Show me how. Now, you say, going back to the Crusades, go study the Crusades. Because the Pope was saying, go ahead and go and do this. And on the other hand, was killing Christians. What? How is it Christians going out doing this, but Christians are dying against this? Go study that. Don't just don't don't just listen to what the president got to say. Go study it. We don't we we are lazy Christians, and we fall for anything. We get deceived because of our laziness. We get deceived because we won't go and. St- Study. We get deceived because we won't go and do the work that needs to be done to prove our faith. If you go and see what, if you go and see how this thing is, what, what really going on in Crusades or what's really going on now, you will see that this is not Christian and that wasn't Christian. What was going on in the Crusades was not Christian, so we're not serving the same God. Not at all. Man, that we really need Jesus. We really need Jesus. Thank Lord when he comes. Bless God. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. We need you, Lord. We really need you. We really, really need you. Man. Kanye West get tattoo of Virgin Mary. (laughs) 
it says, I like, I, I'm not going to read the story, but I'm going to read this headline and I actually pray for it on this situation. Um, Saeed Abinami writes, son, ladder for, for, for his birthday. My chains are keeping me from you. This man is in prison, Pastor, um, 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 see, 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 uh, see, 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 uh, see, uh, I forget, uh, been me. He's in prison for his faith. They, 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 they're not even charging him with anything. They're just keeping him in there. And imagine that being away from your kids. Like, just imagine you got kids. You, I mean, you probably love your kids. Take them to the ball game. Do all kinds of stuff with him. He don't get to do that because of his faith. We need to pray for that situation and then call call your Congress people. Uh, write a letter to, to 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 the president. Write a letter to the to 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 the house. Different things. Do whatever you can. And 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 not just for him, but other people who are in prison for their Christian faith. We over here in America, man, we forget that it's not all about us. It's not all about everything that that we go through. It's about other people too. Um, this was the story published last week. I didn't read it. Um, was St. Patrick, um, who's, who, who, who was St. Patrick and would he drink green beer? You see the saints right now being a made a mockery of St. Patrick with this beer and drunkenness and all that. When you study St. Patrick and see who he really was, that was a really, a real man of God. He's some kind of drinking holiday now. When we see St. Uh, Valentine and the thing that he did, how he put his life online for marriage, and we kind of making it a mockery of, of Valentine's Day. Utah lawmakers pass anti-discrimination bill with LBG Mormon support. Oklahoma bill would abolish state um, role in gathering marriage license, leaving it to the clergy hands. I think I did that story. Parents win fight to end teen sex conference in Oregon. If there ever was a time to praise now. What makes somebody... What, let's talk about this as we get into the word of God. What makes someone go and do all this evil stuff, right? What makes somebody go and and and, and kill people? What makes somebody do crusades or say, okay, you can go do a crusade? Like, what makes someone do, does this? What makes somebody do this? What makes people evil? Why do people do evil things? We go into the Word of God and we're going to be in Romans 1. We're going to be at around um, verse 17. And we're going to break this thing down. I want to answer some of the questions. Why is homosexual a sin? Why, why, why is it wrong to be a homosexual? Right? Why is it wrong for abortion? Why is it wrong to look at porn? Why are all these things against God? Why is it wrong? Why is this this stuff is wrong? Let's go into um let's go into Romans one and we're at seventeen. It says, For therein is um the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and all unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. But but because that which may not be known of God is manifest in them. For God has showed it to them, showed it unto themselves. For the invisible things of him which were for, which were from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Being understood by the things that are made, even his internal and eternal power of the Godhead, so they are with um, without excuse. Stop it right there. The Word of God says, "All unrighteousness and ungodliness is revealed." 
a, a Muslim, a, 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 a atheist, let's take an atheist, right? An atheist is not gonna go and kill, not gonna go, it's not gonna kill people. Some atheists is not gonna sleep around, they're gonna get married and be faithful. Some atheists are not gonna, gonna rob people. Some atheists are gonna live a very moral life according to the Bible. Is it because they are moral? No, the Bible tells us that the, the, the law was written on our hearts. We have no excuses. Jesus said there's no excuse. There is no excuse of not knowing God and not knowing his law. There is no excuse for not knowing the Godhead, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. This stuff is written on our hearts. We know good from evil. We know the God. Uh, we know um, 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 it says, "For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness." They know the truth. They know what's good. They know what's we we know what's good. We know we we know now as as a baby. We don't we don't we we don't teach babies how to sin. They they, they they know how to sin. But it comes a point in time where they know it's wrong. Where they know if okay, when I'm a baby and I go take a piece of candy, it may be cute, but when you 18, 19 years old, you know better. You know going to take a piece of candy is wrong. God put that in us, so there is no excuses. So when men say God made me this way. And they're talking about referring to their sin. That is false. Because the word of God says clearly that you know what's right from wrong. Let's go, let's go and finish reading. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and foolish in their and foolish, foolish hearts was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fool. Now, in um, in, in, in Proverbs one, I, I forget exactly where, but Proverbs chapter one it says that um, um, the the the, the um, no um um, what it says, knowing God is the beginning of wisdom. To to to, to be wise, to be smart, is to know God. Here it says, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful. They became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart became darkened. Now here it is. These people who are doing these evil things, they don't know God. I mean, they, they refuse to know God. They, they know God, but they refuse to, to, to acknowledge him. They don't glorify him as God. We're living in a day where man's imagination is becoming more and more evil continuously. Like the Bible says, Jesus said in Matthew 24, as in the days of Noah, so will it be in the coming of the Son of Man. And we know in the days of Noah, this, the, the, everything in their mind was evil. It was evil continuously. We see in that. And that's because you're refusing to acknowledge God. You're refusing to be thankful. So when somebody's doing these evil things, it, they're doing it because they don't know God. They have no knowledge of God. They refuse to know him. Not that they don't have the opportunity. They have the opportunity to know him. The Bible said, that you just heard, they, they have the opportunity to know the Godhead. But they refuse it. Professing themselves wives, they became fools. I, I seen the interview this weekend. I'm trying to make you understand, so I'm gonna tell you a story to help you understand. I said an interview with this, this guy. He was he was um, an ex Hebrew Israelite, and he he was just he was just man. You could tell this brother was doing a lot of reading, man, because he was spitting out things and spitting out this and this knowledge and that knowledge and that knowledge and that knowledge. But he was so confused because he was mixing so much stuff up. He became too wise. 
that he became a fool. It was so much stuff coming against him. We live in a world right now where, oh man, with the internet, we can know so much. We can know so much. But in 1 Corinthians, it says that knowing all this stuff is nothing if you don't know Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, you don't, you don't care what you know. You're going to be fools. You're going to be fools. And, and the thing that we have to understand is this. Our imaginations is going to become evil, 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 evil. And we're going to be smart and we're going to figure out ways to be more evil. Our imagination is going to become evil if we don't know Jesus. If we, if, we don't, if, if we don't start knowing who Jesus is, if we don't start knowing who the Father is, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we're going to see things get even, 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 even eviler. <laughs> I'm sorry been talking for a while <laughs> we're going to see things get a lot more evil 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 is not a word by the way <laughs> we're going to see things get a lot more evil we have to know who jesus is we got to know god we got to we got to want a relationship with jesus let's keep reading on we, we got to want to know relationship with jesus it says, and changed the, it says, and professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like the corruptible man to birds or to full footed beasts and creeping things. Whoa. Think about that. These superhero movies. <laughs> Come on now. We we change the image of God. It's, it, come on, let, let, let me read that again. It said, and change the glory of the uncorporal, uh, 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 change the glory of the uncorporal God into an image made like a corruptible man, bird, a four-footed beast, or creeping things. Got a movie called Ant Man coming out next week. Supposed to be a superhero. I mean, not we next week. Um, this sometime next year or this year, Ant Man movie. Right, we we got all these movies where people are beasts. This is this is all this is all written a while ago, like long time, like long 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 time ago. <laughs> Yet it's so accurate to this day. We seeing this. We seeing people giving up, saying, "I'm not gonna believe in God. I'm gonna believe in 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 in, 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 in there being an ant god." I'm going to believe in there's been a, 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 a lion god. I'm going to believe in aliens. Come on, somebody. I'm talking to somebody. You believe in all these other things that's that's corrupted, but you won't believe in uncorruptible God? Hmm. Let's keep going. Wherefore, God also gave them up to unclean th um, um, for, for unclean thoughts, um, um, for uncleanness through their lust. Um, of their hearts and to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who would change the truth of God into lies and worship and serve the creature the serve and worship the creature more than the creator who is blessed beyond who is blessed forever amen um come on I, I want to go back here it says wherefore God also gave them up to unclean uh, uncleanness and through the lust of their their own hearts to the desire, the dishonest of their own bodies between themselves, who change the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature, create creature more than the Creator, who is blessed, uh, who is blessed forever. Amen. Evolution. Evolution. Boom. Boom. Something happened. In, in, as we hear now, rock. Turn, through years of having water put on there, they turned to human. I turned into something, something, and that turned into a monkey, I believe, and a monkey turned into a human. It, yeah, this is this this is what we believe in. A clear lie. That that this is a theory. Evolution is a theory. It's not it, it, it's not something that you can see. It's not science at all. It's more faith than anything. That's evolution, but we believe in lies. Believing in lies, I was born this way. This is the way God made me. I was made to sin. 
if if we if we if we ain't getting good, why is the plant? Why did God make it a plant? God made um, poison ivy a plant. I don't see nobody smoking that. Eve. The devil said you can be like God. Knowing good from evil. She believed a lie. And every time you get into something where you sin. Every time you think that something that pornography is gonna 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 satisfy you, you believe it in a lie. Every time you think, oh, I'm gonna sleep with him and and I'm gonna get some intimacy, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna get something that earns God, you believe it in a lie. You you know what's up. You you know what's up. Don't don't act like you don't. You know what's up. I love, I love, I love Romans one, man, because it goes in on us. It goes in on me. It goes in on us. This goes in on everyone. We serve man. We 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 serving man now. We are looking for the man to come. President Obama. Everybody thought he was gonna be the man. Obama, Obama, Obama. They were saying, yes, we can. They were saying that. I wonder what they're saying now. <laughs> we serving man. Serving the things that created. Not just man. How many people got animal gods? How many people believe they can cut a chicken head off, um, neck off and get the blood and sacrifice it? These are things that we're serving. We are serving things that are created. You go, you get up, you get up and go to your, your work on time. Do everything your boss say. But when it's time to do something of God, I get that when it's time. I, you know what? I ain't, I ain't got I got time. I, I serve God later. But you'll worship these created things. You'll worship your column 26s, right? Putting the, the cleaning them tires off, man. I'm, I gotta keep my ride clean, man. Hey, don't touch my car. Don't touch my car. It ain't gotta be just about 26s on. It ain't gotta be about that. So some people are serving these bins, right? Houses, retirement funds. It says, for the cause of for um for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did a change un, un, did change the natural use into which was against nature. And likewise the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning in lust towards one another, men for men, working with each um other unseemly, and receiving in themselves the recompense. Of their errors, which was um, which which was met, which was me. I don't I don't I don't think I need to say much there. You see, it's talking about homosexual, homosexuality, unnatural. When we when we look at nature, we don't see homosexuality rampant. Now they they make him bring up few cases sins in the world, right? I've never seen walking down the road um, a, 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 a a man um dog and a, a well I'm sorry a boy dog a, a a male dog and a male dog doing it in the wild. I ain't never seen a male and male cat. Where I live at, we have a lot, a lot of deers, a lot of deers. See so many deers. Never see them do each other. Now I don't know bo bo birds. I can't tell what's male or female in birds. But it's not that rampant. You don't see lions doing it with each other. Male lion doing it with a male lion. Woman lion doing it with a woman lion. This is not something that's in nature. But because we believe in a lie and says that okay, I can, I, I was born this way. No, you're not. You weren't born that way. You don't know God. You don't know God. If you in homosexuality, you don't know God. If you're cheating on your wife, you don't know God. You can say you do, but you don't. 
The word clearly says that because they knew him not and they glorified him not. If you don't glorify God as God and you don't know God as God, you're going to be susceptible to any sin and it's going to get worse when I read on. Listen to what the word of God said. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, you don't know God. You do not know God. You into these, all these different sins, sleeping with animals and stuff like that. You don't know God. You in, in pedophilia, sleeping with these little kids. You don't know God. You don't know who Jesus is. You need to know him. God gave them over to rep, uh, reprobate minds to do the thing, to do those things which are not conceived. Uh, do those things that's not uh, convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, malice, full of evi, evil, uh, envy, murder, um, debate, um, um, deceit, um, mag magnet, and whispers, backbiting, haters of God, despise, despisers, proud, boastful, inventors of evil things. Oh my goodness. Disobedient to parents. Inventors of evil things. You don't know God. If you in any sin and you enjoying that sin, or if you saying that this sin is okay, if you I don't care if you if the church says okay, you don't know God, and that church don't know God either. When there is sin rampant, there's an absence of God. When there's sin rampant, there's an absence of worshiping Jesus. And I put that on, on the word of God because that's what the word of God just said. See, I don't understand how people can be into these different things and say God justify it. How could we be into pornography and still be up there teaching? Now I'm not talking about, listen, 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 listen. I'm not talking about those who are who are struggling with homosexuality. If you if you say, you know what, man, I have this, I have this, 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 this thing where I, I kinda like men and you're a man. Or you say I have this thing and I kinda like women and you're a woman. That's okay. I'ma tell you, that's just your flesh. Right? That's just your flesh. We we talked about this earlier in the podcast. That the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit lusts against the flesh. The flesh gonna want to do those things because of sin, because we are in a sin nature and we are surrounded by sin. That's what you're gonna want. But when you know God and you know this is wrong, see, because you want to do it, don't make it right. And that's the problem we have in the church, and that's the problem we have in the world. Because we want to do it, we want to say it's right, just because we want to do it. And we want to get into anything to justify it. That's why we have our little gay Bibles that says, okay, take out everything that's against um, homosexuality in the Bible and, and read on. That's why we can say, well, I, I'm, I'm, I feel like a woman today, so we need to have, um, 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 you have, need to let me into your, the woman bathroom. I feel like a man today, you need to let me into the man bathroom. I feel like I'm a child at heart, so I want to sleep with little children. No, you don't know God. Because you have these urges doesn't mean you have to continue in them. Because I have an urge to sleep with women, that don't mean I go and sleep with any woman that I want. If you're a married man, you don't have the right to go and sleep with any woman you want. You have the right to sleep with that one woman that you have. If you're a man that's not married, you don't have the right to go sleep with any woman that you want, even if she's yours. If you're not married to her, you don't have the right to sleep with her. Get married. This is the word of God. It's not, it's not the lacy word. I'm just telling you what the word of God says. I am going strip for strip. I'm telling you what, what God says. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm doing. And I believe in what God says because I know the Father. I know the Father. So when I know the Father, I know these things are against the Father. I do not do them not. I glorify the Father. We have to glorify the Father. This whole podcast, we've been talking about overcoming these different sins. Maybe 
we can understand what God's saying when he says that he, he turned them over to unnatural lust. Unnatural lust. That don't mean just he turned them over to homosexual. No, he turned them over to men want to sleep with little boys, men want to sleep with little girls. Women want to sleep with little boys, women want to sleep with little girls. These are unnatural lusts. These are not things that you're supposed to lust after. As a grown man, I don't lust after a little boy. As a grown man, I don't lust after a woman. I mean, a little woman, a little girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't lust after, I don't lust after a woman either. I lust after my wife. And I don't have a wife right now, so I don't lust. I have to keep my lust in check. You can say whatever you want. You can get mad at me, cuss me out in the description below. You can say I'm a homosexual hater. I don't care, because I know the truth. I glorify the Father. And I preach like this, and I say these things, because I want you to know the Father. I preach like this because I want you to come out that sin. I preach like this because you're blind. You're blind and you don't know the Father. You don't glorify Him. You're not thankful. Christians, 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 be thankful. Give thanks unto the Lord. All right. You may be in one of these sins, right? You may be having these attraction, like I said, to another person that's the same sex. You may have an attraction to to a, a little a little a little kid. You may have an attraction to do something evil. You may have in your mind ways to create evil. Right? You may have in but you can overcome all these things by repenting. Repenting. You have to repent of these things. You have to repent of that lifestyle. You have to repent of not knowing God or, 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 or saying, I don't want to know God. You have to repent of these things. Then the word of God says in Romans 10 and 9. Romans 10 and 9. That, thou, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth the man confesses made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between Jew and the Greek. For the same loveth uh, overall is all rich unto all that call upon him. No matter who you are. It's not a message to to, 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 to to the Jews. Jew first. It was to the Jew first. Then to the Gentile or Greek. This is a message to everybody. No matter what you in, repent and confess Jesus with your mouth and you'll be saved. You can be saved today. There's salvation today. We have salvation. The enemy is mad because he don't get salvation. That's not promised to him. That's promised to us. It's promised to those who are breathing. It says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have eternity life. It's twofold. It's, pent and, it's, it's repent, then confess and believe. Repent, confess, and believe. I'm not going to preach a gospel that say, okay, it's the truth. You can, you can just believe in Jesus and everything going to be okay. No, everything is not going to be okay. Because you need to repent. You have to repent. Repent show that you're serious. Repent and show that you want God. You want to you wanna show that you believe? See, because people can get away with saying, oh, I, I'm, I'm a Christian. Actually, it was a story that I wanted to read about um, how, how um, religion is dropping. I, I, I didn't get to that. But anybody can say I'm a Christian. 
Matter of fact, we're seeing that now. We're seeing people saying, I'm a pastor. People saying, I'm this and I'm that, but doing all kinds of ungodly things. That's doing all kinds of lustful things. Unnatural lusts. Things that, that's not natural to nature. And it goes past homosexuality. It goes into sleeping on, uh, sleeping with, the, with having a wife and bringing another woman in the bedroom and y'all having threesome. That's unnatural. That's unnatural. Repent. Having hate in your heart for your brother. Repent from that. All this stuff is unnatural. Having hate is unnatural. We have salvation. Salvation comes to those who repent, confess, and believe. Repent, confess, and believe. C repent, confess, and believe. I thank God for salvation today. I thank God for his word. And we need to go ahead. Let me go ahead and finish this up. All right, it says... I'm sorry, I'm going to go back to one. I got to finish this up, finish the word up. It says, without understanding covenant breakers, without natural affection and in, 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 in placeable unmercy, who knowing, that, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which can, uh, commit such things and are worthy of death, death, not only do the same, but have pleasures in them that do, that do them. The word of God says, you know the judgment. You, you know you know what you're doing is wrong. All the stuff that you're doing is wrong. You know, you, you know you're supposed to be judged. You know you're wrong. That tells me right there that anybody in a homosexual relationship, they know they're wrong. When we look at when we look at homosexuals, right, we look at the how high the, the suicide rate is. They know they know they're wrong. When we look at them, they they on they on so many drugs and and and, and I'm talking about pharmaceutical um, drugs from from pharmacists, from the doctor. They on all these kind of drugs and some of them on drugs and alcohol like crazy because they know they're wrong. People that are living, it's not just homosexuals. It's not just homosexuals. People that are living in sin, they need these drugs. They know they're wrong. People that are sleeping on their wives, they know they're wrong. They have to have alcohol. They have to have drugs. They have to have these things because you know you're wrong. The word of God is clear. You know you're wrong. You know that there's judgment for that. You have to repent. You have to repent. I can't I, I can't say anything more, but come repent me, come out. Repent me, not do it anymore. Repent me. I don't. I don't. I don't, I'm not finna love this life no more. Repent me. And if I was sleeping with a, a woman that was not my wife, when I find Jesus and I repent, me and her can't sleep together no more unless we get married. And if she don't want to marry me, I have to move on. How, what's this? What is this Christianity thing that we can come to Jesus and He gonna accept everything that 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 we do? Like, we, we got caught in our head that Jesus died for us. That's far from the truth. Jesus died to show you how good he is. To show you the goodness of the Father. That's why Jesus died. Jesus died to please the Lord. It pleased the Lord to bruise the Son. And out of that became salvation. Out of that became his love through us through salvation. His love through mercy. His love through grace. We have that today because Jesus died. Not because Jesus died and we can do whatever we want. No, we have to repent. These churches are cursing people to hell because they're not telling people that they need to repent. I am not finna do that. Kick me off of YouTube. I don't care. I don't care. Don't like me. I don't have friends. I don't, I don't have many friends in my corner right now. And my friend that in my corner walk away, I love you. But I'm going to preach this message because people need to hear the truth that we have to come out. Jesus said, take up your cross. Take up your cross. You're going to follow me. Give up the things. Give up the things. Like he told the rich one, you, uh, young ruler, if you want to follow me, sell everything. Give it to the poor. 
Sell everything and give it to the point. Come follow me. If you can't give up everything, I mean everything. Give up that woman. Give up that man. Give up that lifestyle. Whether it be homosexuality, whether it be transgenderism or whatever, give up that lifestyle. Whether if you love little boys, give up that lifestyle. Come out. Repent. Turn. That's what it means to repent is to turn. You in love with weed? Give up that love for weed. Come out of that. Come out of that. Fight. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Fight. 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 First round, bing, just start swinging. Second round, bing, start swinging. And when you get tired, cry the Lord, I can't do this no more. And keep swinging. And keep swinging. Keep praying. Keep fasting. Get into the spirit of God. You can do this. You can overcome sin. There's not a sin that you can't overcome. Trust me. If I'm telling you everything that I, that's in me. There's not a sin that you cannot overcome. God is good. God is merciful. And God is all power. You can come over. You can overcome any sin there is. I don't care what addiction. And, and they say, and they laugh and I say, oh, you want to pray the gay away? Pray the gay away. Not just pray the gay away. Speak the word of God to the gay away. Fight the gay, the gay away. What kind of stuff is this? Oh, um, I was born this way. I was born loving women, and if it was up to me, and and and, and, I, and I and I and I didn't, I wasn't obedient to God, and didn't have a heart for God. I would want to sleep with every woman that I see. If she had a cold cola about it, oh my goodness, they don't give me the right to just because I want to. God forbid. There's not a sin that you can't overcome. There's not a sin that you cannot overcome. But you got to have it in your heart to want to overcome these things. That's repentance. Repent. Turn. I'm not saying that you're not going to slip up. You're going to slip up. In my fight against pornography, I slipped up. I didn't love it. I, it was times I was in tears, Lord. I, this this thing is coming against me. The spirit, the, the flesh is weak, Lord. The flesh is weak. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Crying in tears at my computer. On this. Googling. Trying to do everything I can. Getting up, shutting it down. Th unplugging the computer. Letting the battery run dead. Throwing it in the back of my closet. Doing everything I can. Putting up filters. Making it hard for myself. Forgetting passwords. Making it my heart for myself to try to get to porn. It's a fight, man. It's a fight. But you will not overcome this thing without knowing God. Without knowing God. Without accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You got to repent. Repent me in turn. Confess and believe. Believe in your heart. Believe he's the son of God. It's not just about confessing. Because it was about confessing. Jesus once said that it's going to be people that get to the kingdom. And he's going to say, Lord, Lord, I did this and I did that. I confess you. And he's like, I know you're not. I know. I don't know you. I mean, you got to have a relationship, homie. That, 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 that means you got to have a relationship. That means you got to set aside time for God. That means you got to commune with God. That means you got to be in communication with God. That means you got to get into his word, homie. That means you got to get into the spirit of God, homie. That means you can't just say, okay, I believe. No, it, it don't work like that. You can give your you can give a thousand dollar seed. <laughs> that, that don't mean anything, homie. He gonna say, I know you're not. You bust with hell wide open. Yeah, I said it, hell. <laughs> like, I know we don't hear this stuff in, anymore in the church, but this ain't a church. This is this is real life. People are dying daily. Going to hell because they refuse to have a relationship with Jesus. Because they refuse to know Jesus. This ain't church. People in the church die every day that goes to hell. This ain't church. This is me going into the word and telling you the truth of the word and said, find Jesus. Find the Lord.
I pray right now, Father God, for those, Father God, who are caught up, Father God, in these different things in life, caught up in homosexuality, that's caught up in transhuman, transgenderism, or tra even transhumanism, Father God, cheating on their wives and husbands, Father God, that's lusting after people, Father God, are, 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 are so deep in pornography, Father God, that they can't look at a woman and see a, a beautiful thing without seeing her naked. Father God, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, you send a spirit of righteousness to this nation, Father God, to the spirit, the spirit of righteousness to this world, Father God. That, Father God, that those who are called by your name, those who are called Christians, called those who believe, Father God, who say they believe, Father God, that they turn their hearts back to you. That they repent of these things, Father God, and they turn their hearts back to you. Father God, I pray right now for these pastors, Father God, who are in the pulpits, Father God, that are deceiving your people. I pray, Father God, that you send a light to expose them, Father God, not to just for embarrassment, Father God, but to turn them, to gain them back to you, Father God. All these people that are believing these things that they're telling you, Father God, I pray for them right now, Father God, that they see the truth in you. Father God, I pray that your spirit goes through the people of God, Father God, and, and turn them back to your word, Father God, your true word, Father God, and, and they read and hear what your word has to say and be obedient to you, Father God. I pray right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, you love your people, Father God, and I love your people, Father God. I love your people, Father God. I pray that they come to you, Father God. I pray that you raise up those who are out, Father God, that are workers for you, Father God, to go do the work, Father God. You say the work is plenty, but the workers are few, Father God. I pray for the workers, Father God, that you strengthen them, Father God, supernaturally, Father God. You strengthen them, Father God, to go out there and do your work, Father God, to, to be obedient, Father God. And when they get tired, Father God, to press on. I myself, Father God, I pray, Father God, that, that you give me the ability to press on, Father God, and anything that's coming against me, Father God, to keep me from being like you, Father God, or to keep me from doing your will, I bleed the blood of Jesus on it right now, and I cast it away from me. I thank you, Father God, and I pray for this message, Father God, that whoever out there need it, Father God, that they hear it and receive it, Father God, I pray that you take it to where you want to take it, Father God. Holy Spirit, come in right now and move. Move this message where you see fit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Wow. I'm telling you that that, that was a good word. I, I I enjoyed myself through this podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Um we went long too. <laughs> we went we went kind of long today and um I enjoyed it. I, I really did and um I pray that this this word help you. I pray that the word breaking down Romans one help you, man. I'm um, saying no God, no God. That that nothing more important than no God. To get into the Father through Christ and know Him. Um, next week we're gonna probably um be in Romans ten. Um, I either I'm either do a teaching on Romans ten this week. All right, that's what we're gonna be teaching on next week podcast. But I, I really, I really, I really hope this helps you. I really hope you take this serious. Jesus said in Matthew 24 that we should be looking for his coming, that he can come at any time. I pray that you be ready, and you're not going to be ready if you don't know God. If you don't have that relationship with Jesus, get it. I, t I told you earlier how to find it. Please get it. I, I truly love you, man. Who, if you, If you need to talk to me, man, there's so many ways to reach me. And don't be afraid. I'm dying for communication with you. I'm listen to me. I am dying to talk to you. I'm dying to hang out with you. I'm dying to to answer your questions if you need it. I'm dying to encourage you and you encourage me. I'm dying to have that relationship with you. But more important, I'm dying for you to have that relationship with the Father. Listen, I'm third movement.